world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Uh, we're skipping a few things, we'll show that to you later, but I want to show you this one today, the old timer. Now, this one, um, 9.5 old OTB, okay. Um, this one I liked for a variety of reasons. What does it say over there? Oh, it says whatever upside down. 9.5 OTB. Old timer, old timer. Okay, so let's see what we get in here. Again, just a first look. We have beautiful brown paper. Anything that comes in brown paper is always awesome. Let's put that like that so you can see it's an old timer. Now look at this wonderful thing. This is actual bone. Okay, so it's saw cut bone and then it's got this paint on it. Now mine has got a little defect over here. Well, not a defect, but their paint job sucked. Okay, so. Can you see that old timer? And then look at this beautiful bone. Okay, this piece over here, I suppose it was Friday. They wanted to go home, whatever. What I like about this thing is... I can feel no transitions, transitions, I can see no gapping, can I? That's not gapping, that's just little lip over there. Okay, so some lip over there, but no gapping. Nothing I can feel, everything looks beautiful between the brass and the back springs. Beautiful, uh, what's this, nickel silver, but it's quite gold nickel brass, whatever you want to call that, ringed bolsters, this is a good looking knife. Okay, now apart from that, okay, I got this from Swartbart EDC and Gear, but I suppose he can't quality control for the company. So, old timer, bad, bad old timer, but still fantastic knife, this is not going to annoy me even the slightest. What's that? No, nothing. Okay. The only things that stand proud is the pins for the, um, what do you call it, back springs. But yeah, that's the way it works. Then on this, because this is a trapper, this is the gunstock trapper. We have a beautiful clip point blade. Nice and large. Uh, first look, I'm not going to do a full review. I'm not going to measure things now. But this is a nice and large blade. And then what does it say over there? 950 TB, well it's actually OTB, but still, Shred, nice snap to this thing, okay, dogs, I'm going to ignore them, I hope you can also, okay, and then a beautiful spay blade, and I love spay blades, these things feel quite hollow ground to me, oh it is hollow ground, what a fantastic thing, okay, and it's a big blade, so you can actually do some work with it. Again, no off-stop. Wonderful snap to this thing. Both of them are perfectly centered. This is a fantastic knife. Apart from the paint job, this thing is fantastic. There's nothing I do not like about it. And I love the bone. Look at the bone on here. And this is actual bone. That's why I wanted this specific one. The large gun stock trapper. Okay. Um, and the blade steel, I don't know if I said it already, it's 9CR18. So it's a fantastic blade steel on a fantastic knife with actual bone scales or covers. We're talking traditional now. It feels wonderful in hand. This is a fantastic knife. So I think this is going to be my carry for the next few weeks. I'm saying weeks, but most likely a week. So for the next week, I'll carry this thing. And then in a later video, I'll show you um, how we can make a little slip for this wonderful, wonderful little thing. Okay, so if you are in the market for something traditional, something wonderful, something with actual bone, something with hollow ground blades, is this thing also hollow ground? Yes, it is. Something with actual hollow ground blades. Let's see how sharp this thing is. Sorry, just a second. Okay, what? 
what what i'm gonna say it is very sharp but you can see it's not that sharp again just to show that your finger taste doesn't always tell the truth or this is like the toughest paper in the world well it does have a picture on it and it was wet at some stage but actually i think it might just be less sharp than i thought or give me a second phone book paper the ultimate test for any blade let's see what it does with phone book paper okay and as i thought if it can't slice normal paper it's not gonna cut phone book paper but the geometry on this blade makes it so that it will still cut even if it is super dull now i'm not saying this is super dull but it's definitely not the sharpest blade i've had in a while let me quickly take this thing from my pocket um i love this thing this thing is fantastic this is the uh, what do you call that thing um the Kershaw, Kershaw Irid Iridium, Iridium. I did a video on this thing like a day or so ago. Now you see, that sharp. But this thing is so much more gentlemanly and awesome. Let's quickly check blade sizes on these two. You see, this is actually quite a big blade you get on this thing. And once you strop this thing a few times, I promise you this is going to be a razor also. Okay. Um, Kershaw, oh, no, Kershaw, old timer. Um, I'm gonna attack a few dogs now, maybe bite a few ears, do whatever. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Go to Teespring if you live in America or wherever Europe and buy things. Um, and then, yes, I'll show you cool stuff later. Um, I'm not in a state where I can really braai and whatnot because at this stage eating is a bit of a problem for me but that's fine all of you stay safe happy have a good one goodbye